Willis MB L134 engine, mating the intake and exhaust manifolds. Going to be mating or assembling the two manifolds, the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold for the L134 Willis engine. I've already got the heat riser assembly all together and the spring's good. It works very freely. Went ahead and ran a tap down the threaded portions of the intake manifold just to ensure that the threads were going to be nice and it would take to the new bolts and it would be easy to install the new bolts. I've purchased four new 516 by 18 by one inch long bolts and four external lock washers. These are the ones that seem to uh, most common in these as I've taken apart quite a few of them recently. I've already applied to, but I'm going to show you how I do it, some copper high temp anti-seize. These bolts are notorious for getting hot and cold and corroding and being an absolute nightmare to get apart from here. So do yourself a favor and for the next guy a favor and install the anti-seize. We've got a new gasket and if you notice here the gasket's got a number printed on the top of it and it actually has a radius that rolls up to the top. The manifold, the exhaust manifold, will be oriented like that on the block of the engine. So this would be the downside. So we'll install this gasket with the numbers facing up. Here's the fun part. You just actually made them together. You start here like this and just kind of roll that in. So your two ports go underneath this curve of the exhaust manifold. The back's going to look like that. Turn this upside down. Make sure our holes are all lined up. Going to go ahead and install a couple of the bolts. Make sure our gasket and our holes are all lined up. They should go right in. That's the reason for running the tap through there. It makes it really easy to install the new bolts. And I know that they'll hold and won't pull out when I go to torque them. We've got our heat riser assembly, our lollipop and our spring. And if you look closely here on the spring, you'll see where my finger is. You can see there's a bend there. And that's the bend that rests up against this stop so that when that gets hot or the heat gets created, it contracts and it opens and closes the heat riser assembly. That is oriented like that point towards the back so that will the stop will be able to hit that you don't want this stop interfering with this round washer piece that's on the outside so we'll install it like that start our last bolt I recommend that you do not fully tighten these four bolts for the time being when this is installed on the engine, if there's any imperfection here and it's not flat, you do have a little room where you can adjust that, as you see here, so it's nice and smooth. So all I'm going to do is take my ratchet and my socket, and I'm just going to run them down just till they touch, just to hold the whole thing together. Again, not tightening them. Just running them down so I could still adjust this in or out do I need to when I mount this on the engine. In the next video, I'll be actually installing this onto the L134 engine. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep it safe and happy jeeping. Interjecting the video a little bit. I'm out back priming and painting this before I install it this evening. And I just wanted to show you the detail here. I kind of went through it quick there. That is the stop, and if you notice, it's pointing towards the spring, and it's fastened on the front side of the exhaust and intake manifolds. It's pointing towards the engine side, or the block side. I figured I'd show you some close detail.